Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And in last video, we had dis discussed about creating ESXi 6.5 virtual machine. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how do you install ESXi 6.5 operating system in that VM, right? So before doing that, let's review our ESXi 6.5 virtual machine, which we created in our last lab. So if you go to your, if you select the VM, and if you see here, you would be seeing all your hardware configuration of that VM, the resource consumption of that VM, how much the storage is provisioned, how much is storage is uncommitted, not shared, what is the hard drive space, memory, CPU, all those things, right? Now to install the operating system in that VM, we need to provide the location of that image a location of 6.5 image to that VM, right? So for doing that, like right click on the virtual machine, go to edit settings. And there we have a CD and DVD drive option. So if we click on CD and DVD drive option, we have two options, host device and data store ISO file. Host device option you can use when you want to map your CD-ROM of your underlying hardware directly to your virtual machine. So your virtual machine will go and pick up the ISO image from that host device, right? The second option, data store ISO file. When you select data store ISO file, so it will go and try to locate the ISO on the data store, right? So since I have kept the ISO image of ESXi 6.5 hypervisor on my data store, so I'll go with the option data store ISO file. And if you see, just if you see this image, it is my VMware VM Visor installer 6.5.0. So this is my 6.5.0 ISO image, which we are going to attach to a virtual machine for installation. If you don't have this ISO image available, you can always go and select upload option. Upload option will browse you through the location where you have the ISO, and you can just select this option and click open. So once you do that, the image will be uploaded to this data store. And then from there on, you can proceed with the installation. So I have selected 6.5 ISO image, click on select. Now make sure you're connect at power on. This option is check mark. So that means we empowered on, it will should, it should be able to detect this ISO image. So click save. Now in the recent task option, you would always be seeing what are the op operations you are performing. Whatever task you are performing, it always get logged in recent task tab. Now power on a virtual machine. And now if you see, this is the ESXi 6.5.0 image. So your VM BIOS, it tried to locate that ISO file and it's, and it's trying to load your ESXi kernel. So in this window, if you see your kernel is, kernel is always a compressed image, right? So it is getting unzipped and kernel is extracted and it's it's loading it. Now in, in this UI, if you see in this, they are in the gray color section, if you see, it is giving the information about your ESXi hypervisor versioning. So we have we are installing 6.5.0 ESXi version and the build which we are using for 6.5.0 is 5969303. It's a VMware virtual platform, and it is also showing us information about your about our CPU configuration. So we have a two VC two CPU and amount of memory which is available to your ESXi kernel. So we have a if you remember when we created this VM, we allocated two VCPUs. So that's what it's showing it here, and we allocated four GB memory to this VM. So that's what your ESXi kernel is grabbing the information from your hardware and populating it here. Now the yellow section, if you see. It is showing what are the kernel modules which are being loaded in your ESXi kernel. For example, currently if you see, we have a NFS41 client which is getting loaded. So it shows basically, as when this installation bar progresses, it will keep populating information about the kernel modules. Now if you see, after loading all the kernels, now it is starting specific services. Specific demons are being restarted, being started. And now it is running some 
installation some uh, scripts so that's all, that's all basically things which get initialized now this is an installation wizard where it's asking us welcome to the ESXi 6.5 installation press enter if you want to continue obviously we want to continue so press enter accept license and agreement F11 press F11 now in this wizard it asks about select a disk to install or upgrade so now it is asking us you're installing a ESXi now on which is which hard disk you want to install this operating system so we have a two options local and remote so since our VM is having a local disk attack if you remember we had a hundred GB of disk right which we created which we assigned to this VM so that's what the hundred GB disk which has been detected by your ESXi hypervisor kernel and it is populating populating it here and recommending us to select this storage device for our ESXi installation now if you have a if you have a more than one local disk you can always go and select on which specific disk local disk you want to install your hypervisor the second option if you see that is a remote and that is mentioned is a none the remote option talks about where you are not installing ESXi on local hard drive you are, you are installed you want to install ESXi on some LUN which is coming from some centralized array so in those scenarios when 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 you do not want to install your hypervisor on, on your local drive and you you all want to install it on some centralized array or some kind of LUN that time you could select this remote option if you remember there is something not boot from SAN so 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 in, in in those kind of scenarios we always go and try to select the remote LUN for the ESXi installation so let's go with the local virtual disk for our lab environment click press enter it is a keyboard layout us default now if you see enter a root password ESXi is actually unix based flavor it's a unix flavored operating system so every unix since it's a based on unix environment or unix platform we will have a default user called root just like a windows world we have a default user called administrator similarly in the unix world we have a default user called root and you can set the password you can define the password for a root user in this wizard and, and and make sure that you always keep a note of this password somewhere because it is very tedious to recover the password of root user in a esxi environment so it's always better to keep this password password noted somewhere i'll give a password vmware at the rate of one two three press enter now it is scanning all our systems this is a, a bit of warning it's it's giving us so basically whenever you want to install esxi in 64-bit vm on a esxi environment always make sure your always make sure the cpu virtualization feature is always enabled on your processor so intel vt in on intel processor you should have an intel vt enabled on your processor and if you're using an amd processor make sure you have an amd v feature enabled so let's ignore this warning press enter to continue and press f11 for proceeding with the installation so once you press f11 and now if you see your installation has started so esxi installation is pretty straightforward it will take a bit of while uh, for the installation maybe around five to eight minutes so let's wait for five ten minutes to get it completed okay it has uh, completed 27 percent of installation
Okay, so here we have installation completed. So just enter, just press enter to reboot the system. And make sure we remove our installation media before rebooting, as it will again, you know, uh, uh, take the ISO image from that. Uh, it will start booting up the kernel again from that ISO image. So make sure we remove the installation media before rebooting. So I'll just go to my VM, click on Edit Settings, CD drive, and we have a connected option, right? So just disconnect this installation media and then press enter and now if you see a server is rebooting and after reboot it will load your kernel so that's what this video was all about okay so that's what it's all about in our next video we will we'll be discussing about accessing our ESXi host to DCUI interface how do we go and configure networking? How do we go and uh, configure a basic stuff on our ESXi host through its DCUI interface? So, thank you.